For more details are coming into the Fox 13 newsroom tonight as to who did what in the murder of young Dolph. Now, just last night, we broke that there was a third arrest. Tonight, we are looking into which roles police say each actually played. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon talked with Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy tonight. And Kayla, we're getting a bigger picture thanks to that conversation as to who might be the mastermind of this plot. Daryl, District Attorney Mulroy confirmed that Hernandez Govan is the man who ordered the murder of Young Doth. November 17, 2021, two men are seen in this video opening fire outside of Makita's Cookies. Inside that store was Memphis rapper Young Doth. It would take just a couple of weeks for the first arrest to happen in his murder. Cornelia Smith was arrested in December in DeSoto County. Then in January of this year, Justin Johnson was arrested in Indiana. Now there has been a third arrest. So what's the connection between these three men? Who did what? Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith are, we allege, the two shooters. They are the people that are captured on the video that was released publicly a while back showing the actual shooting. That video was released by Memphis police the day after the shooting. You can see in the photos two people standing holding guns aimed at Makita's. Also in those photos, a picture of a white Mercedes Benz that police say was the car used in the crime. Now, almost a year later, a third man has been arrested, Hernandez Govan. The uh, new indictment, the new suspect, Mr. Govan, we allege was the person who put the hit out on Young Dolph, who solicited the murder and put into motion the chain events that led to Young Dolph's death. The indictment is dated in June of 2021, which Mulroy says is when the plan was hatched. Govan is charged with first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, and criminal attempt first-degree murder. His criminal record dates back to the 1990s, where he's been charged for aggravated assaults and drug charges since. Now, I asked the district attorney what the relationship is between Govan, Johnson, and Smith, and he says he can't answer that question at this time. He also says that they will not be making public what the motive is and also if there's going to be any future arrests. Darcy. Hmm, interesting. That is Fox 13's Kayla Solomon for reporting tonight. Thank you, Kayla. Now, according to the online court documents, Govan's last known address is in the 1100 block of Bradley in Orange Mound. This is the same block where police found the white Mercedes Benz. They say the gunman who killed Dolph, they were driving in. Now, sources say that Govan is expected to be in court sometime early next week. Hernandez Govan has a lengthy criminal record dating back to the early 90s, in fact. Records show January of 1990, Govan was charged with possessing a controlled substance with the intent to manufacture, deliver, or sell. That's a Class E felony. Then again, May of 2000, he was charged with possessing a controlled substance with the intent to manufacture, deliver, or sell. Now, records show he pled guilty to that charge and was sentenced to two years behind bars. In August 2003, he was charged with being a convicted felon in possession of a handgun. Again, court records show he pled not guilty, and Fox 13 is working to learn more on if he was sentenced for that case. In November of 2003, Govan was charged with possession of a controlled substance and pled guilty. Then in April 2008, he pled guilty to aggravated assault. Govan was sentenced to three years in that case. He was charged with aggravated assault again May of last year, 2021, accused of beating up his former partner. Coming up on Fox 13 News at 10, we'll continue to look into just who Govan is and share his connection to another rapper killed in Houston this year. Well, there is another man that is connected to this case, remains on the run tonight. 